looking at a hoarder's paradise. This is, I'm sad to say, my closet. As you can see, it has gotten out of hand. We have just this closet to store all of our things, and so we did just that. We put all of our things in this closet. It's kind of insane. Ah! Uh, what? So much stuff. That's probably how you're feeling as well. So let's go ahead and clean this space up. We are gonna take everything out. This is the way that I like to do things. Put it all out for us to see. Organize, clear the clutter, and let's transform the space. If you wanna see what the final thing looks like, then just keep watching. Hi guys, happy new year, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. You guys, I had the most amazing, relaxing time, and it feels a little bit weird to be back, but I'm ready for it, you guys. New year, not a new me, it's still me. Um, anyways, if you guys watched my room makeover room tour, I hope you did. If not, I'll have it linked everywhere and all the things. Um, I would love for you guys to watch it and check it out. I'm really proud of how this space turned out. I hope you've forgotten that the closet was a disaster, and I'm really sad to say it's still the same way. I have not had a chance at all since I posted that video to clean it because we are sharing this room with my one-year-old son. If you don't know, we're living with my mom right now, so we really have limited storage space as well as room space. So we're rooming together that might change soon. Um, but anyways, this closet, it's bad you guys. It was really bad. Um, that didn't show you anything. This closet, it's bad you guys. It's really bad. So if you saw some of the opening shots, that was Brad before he kind of organized it. Cause he's like, you just need to film this video. I'm so sick of this closet. But I was like, no, I'm not cleaning it until I do a video, which takes time. So anyways, so now it's a little bit better because Brad has kind of sort of been moving things around and trying to um, clean it when I'm not looking, but today's the day. So we're going to go ahead and take everything out. Um, if you watched my other closet clean out, a lot of you guys like that one from our old house. It's going to be the same idea. Basically taking everything out, going through what we do, don't need. I'm excited to see like the little antique things that I've kind of shoved in here and forgotten about. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and clean and organize this closet. Okay. Can I turn the cat because I'm easy at the cat movie? Uh, what? So much stuff. No. Wait, I'm going to go get a knife that would be easier. <laughs> All right. Oh no, Brad. <laughs> I was gonna say we have a clean slate. We don't. Oh, this brings back bad memories. Oh. When I did it in our house. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we still have to get this down, and then we're gonna rearrange our clothes. 
Bradley doesn't know this, but I actually want to slap a coat of white paint right there. What? Um, but look! A fresh start! That feels good. Paint? Okay, if you guys use any of the Polarx cameras, this one um, was our favorite little Polaroid. Is that what it's called? Polaroid, Polaroid Instamax? I think I mixed those up. Yeah. Anyways, we used to use this to hold our photos, but then we couldn't find them anymore, but they were cool because you could stand them on your counter. So now we found these. They're called Pieces of Moment, and they're just cute little booklets. One second, and they hold your photos super cute with a little mini photo album. And... Uh, I got them for Christmas. It's the next day, obviously. Um, we've got some laundry going, so we're getting rid of that big pile that was on the floor. Got to put some of that away. But you guys, this morning I woke up and my closet was open, and it was just, oh, it was such a breath of fresh air to be able to look in the closet and not be overwhelmed by just the disaster that it was. It just feels so good to have things put in a place, not have stuff all, that was the biggest thing, was like walking in and just having stuff always on the floor and not being able to move in there. So, I'm much, much happier. I really don't have a lot to put away today. We have a bunch of Harvey's clothes that um, we're actually gonna be hanging up in a wardrobe if you follow me on Instagram, Heart and Home Crew. We'd love to have you there, more behind the scenes of our day-to-day -day lives and what we're doing. But we have a wardrobe that we got that we're gonna put those clothes in. And then I have a bunch of frames. I'm gonna see if I can actually use some throughout my mom's house. Um, 
to style her house a little bit. We'll see. Otherwise, I've just got to find a place for those that is not the closet because they've been hiding behind Brad's clothes and it's just frustrating for him having to get in and out. He's been very kind, never complained, but I know that I wouldn't like that. So we're going to make sure those go somewhere else. And then just a couple of random assortment things that we're going to find a place for and hang a mirror. And I think we're good to go. I have to go through my jewelry again. You guys saw that in my last video, but it's just got thrown about. So it just needs to be picked up a little bit. Not a lot, but I'm excited, you guys. I hope you are too. It feels so good. I love these kind of videos. Okay, let's stop talking and just get into it. Baking some chocolate chip sourdough bread right now and I want to have a fresh piece, so I got to beat that timer. you um so normally when we do laundry we actually have all of it on the bed that was just one load and we have all the kids come in we put on their favorite music and then they each pick out the clothes that are theirs and then we put them in the room and put them away i'm out of breath because i had to go run downstairs to take the lid off the sourdough anyways um so then it's a lot easier for all of us it gets the kids involved which i always think it's great to get kids involved at a young age in household chores and life stuff um other tip is that so when we came here my mom wanted a way to differentiate between the kids towels so then that way we weren't always just not knowing whose was whose and whose was hers and that kind of thing so i actually bought these for the kids for easter two years ago they're turkish organic towels they were like ten dollars a towel super super cheap um and they're really good quality i checked all the reviews they're on etsy if i can find them again i'll link them down below um, but we got the kids a different color. So this is purple. Rosie likes purple. Molly got pink and Emma got blue. And they're awesome because they're super lightweight, super thin, but they absorb water really well. So we actually got them as beach towels, but we've been using them as bath towels and they're awesome. And then obviously they hang up and the kids can see whose is whose. So we're not mixing and matching, but anyways, that's just my little life hack of the day. Now let's keep going. For those of you who watched last time, I didn't forget that I put them in there. Yay. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I totally forgot I had this on when I was rearranging the frames. Anyways, so we are pretty much almost set for this closet. There's just like some finishing touches that we have to do. So first one being this beautiful $6 mirror that I found at my favorite thrift store. I'm just gonna go ahead and plop that right here. Um, basically, Brad and I don't have anything where we can like full body check ourselves until we get downstairs. And I'm just used to having full length mirrors. I love them. I think they add so much more space to a room. They make it seem so much larger. They reflect light. I love them. So anyways, that's just a side note about me. So I need to hang the, hang the frame. And then I was just gonna do, if you remember my other closet video, I will have that linked. Um, I did command hooks on the side of my built-in closet. It sounds much more exciting than it was. It was very small. Thankful for it, but very small. Um, but I just did command hooks on the side and they were awesome, but I have this and I just really love it. And I don't have a space for it in my room yet. So I was thinking instead of screwing it in because that's very committal, committing, um, I thought maybe I would just use some command strips because it's very light and it's just gonna be holding necklaces. But hang it up here just so I can look at it and it's pretty and then it'll hang my necklaces. We'll see, I might change my mind, but I just thought that would be prettier than command strips. So anyways, guys, it's feeling so clean in here, so wonderful, but before I do those two things, I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange the clothes in their pretty little, I was gonna say alphabetical order. <laughs> no, mom brain. Um, uh, colorful rainbow weeness of life. So there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and do that and then we will do those final touches. I also wanna say that I totally meant to paint mm. this wall, but I didn't have a roller and I didn't have a paintbrush and we needed this project to be quick and I didn't wanna run 20 minutes down the road to get a paintbrush so or a roller. So I didn't paint it. It's not my closet. If it was my closet, I obviously would have gone that extra step. Um, Mom, I love you. I'll do it one day. You know I will. I've painted every room in this house almost. So anyways, that's just why. And again, it wasn't like a makeover. It's more like a cleaning thing. Anyways, the mirror will hide most of it. Okay, let's go.
since it's only gonna be holding necklaces, I only did two. If you're gonna have something heavier like keys, I would definitely do at least three in the middle to offset where like the thickness is. So you see how I can do that? Because there's nothing thick here. Um, so just a little tip. Now that the final details are in place, let's just give you a quick recap of what this closet looked like when we began. This was not an exaggeration. As I said, this is actually a little bit tidier than it had been. This was long overdue, you guys, and I am so happy to say that after living like this for six months, we can finally breathe again. So let's go ahead and see the completed transformation. You guys breathing easier too now seeing this transformation it may not be absolutely gorgeous and pinterest worthy but to me it's stunning i love this closet so much more i'm happy every time i open that door if you guys like this content and want to see more make sure you subscribe because i love organizing decluttering thrifting and makeovering so if any of those things are interesting to you then make sure you subscribe so you can be a part of our community we love you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that thumbs up and give me a comment down below on what your favorite part of this transformation was. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. What'd you say, Mom? I'm so tired. Tired of what? I'm tired of cleaning. Are you even cleaning anything? No, I can't help it. Bye-bye.